I think your comment was more interesting rather than the exercise, right? I mean, on the Carl Icahn thing that I uh-huh. don't make money through AI, but rather observing human stupidity. I think it's a, an interesting model. Yeah, I mean, see, only the guys who think they are, they are the smartest, they are the ones who commit the most stupidities, right? So, great. Okay. So, anybody who wants me to repeat that, uh, the solution to that exercise? You do? Yes. Yes, please. Okay. Okay. So, what was the question? The question was, uh, if you run uh, 100 syndicates of $500,000 each, so as to invest $50 million, right? What is the blah, 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 right? That was the question. Huh. So if you return 25 million in five companies, but your carries deal by deal. So in those 25 million, the investment made is uh, how much? 2.5. 2.5 million, right? So your, your gains are? 22.5 million, right? And on those gains, the safe assumption is that the hurdle rate and all will be met, right? Because only five winners, they're, they're all big winners. Right? So all of it will be met. So on 22.5 million, you will get a carry of 20%. That's 4.5 million. If you do 50 on 50, on five deals, you do 50 minus 2.5 million, and that's 47.5, and you take 27% of that. And that's 9.5 million as carry. If you double the money, which you can, if uh, you, you make good investments, you, you again do 100 minus 2.5, 97.5, and that's 19.5 million carry. Right? So, Anand, thanks so for I think, that. Thanks. Sorry, because you know, I saw your tweet and huh. it had a very odd number, some 4.94 that was doubling and four, you know, quadrupling. And yeah, I'm wo... going through the exercise and I'm like, yeah, number is better, number is better, what are you doing wrong? So thanks for that. I know. I know. <laughs> but you, you got it now, right? Okay. 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 So, so I think we should change the name of this group to how to start a syndicate. How many of you guys want to start a fund and how many of you want to start a syndicate now? Let's do a poll. Anybody for starting a fund now and anybody for starting a syndicate? How many of you want to start a syndicate now? Let's do a poll. Okay, Keshav is there, smart guy. Who else wants to start a syndicate? No? Who doesn't want that? How many of you have seen the, the first season of Anti Delusion? Particularly the session by Ritesh and uh, Priyank. Have you guys seen? How many of you have not seen that? Anybody? I, I see some new names here. I see Srinidhi Yaman, Tipti Banka, Rushi Sharma, Kumar Thira. Guys, have you seen all of that? Um, no. You've not seen the first first season? No, I haven't. Not have I. Guys, so we are, we are assuming continuity here. So we are assuming that we're going to talk about exit today. And I'm assuming that you guys have seen how to form a fund and you know how to invest. So uh, sorry, we should have told you to read, but uh, it's not a lot, probably a few hours of videos. Should go back and try doing those exercises and uh, go through those videos. Okay. So, coming to the exercise today, what are we solving today? The exit scenario. Anybody has done the, uh, done the exercise? Try to. You have done? Tried to do it, but didn't I get do. it. You want, we want to show on Zoom? Anybody wants to show on Zoom? Guys, this is a chance to impress everybody else. Not because your answer is right, but by your initiative. Well, I'll put it up if you want, Anand. I, I took sure, a stab sure. at it without the last question. but yeah. No problems. I tried to, but couldn't get the answer. Okay. Okay. I mean, this is the ideal world scenario, not the one that will actually go down, which we're going to learn about today, but. Let's see. 
So what you've done is in scenario E, click pray for one X for everyone. Everybody's pari pasu. Yeah. So you broadly divided the money equally, right? Yeah. Between Everybody's every getting 150 divided by 154. Correct. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guys, anybody wants to understand more on this first scenario? Kesha has solved A. The first row in the sheet. Are you guys there? You understand what's happening, right? 154 million went in. Only 150 is available. So naturally, everybody will get a little less. But they'll get something. Broadly recover the capital. Right? Okay. Now, if you were you were the founder in this first scenario, what would you do? You would stop the sale. Hmm? You wouldn't you wouldn't cooperate with the sale, right? right exactly. If this is the distribution of $150 million. So so what should the founder get here? And what, what would you do as a investor? Let's say you are a series B investor or series C investor or series A investor here, right? What would you do? Anand, would it, uh, would you also take into account? I don't know if I'm on mute. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so would you also look at if any money has been paid out for secondaries because it's already gone to series B, right? I mean, so maybe first I'll account for that. Some amount that has there been a liquidity event for the founders uh, in the past. Right. Maybe there has been, we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. If for, not, now, then... for now, I would say, even if there has been, there hmm. is a deal. Right. Investors need the founder to be locked in for two years, at least for right. the deal to go through. Right. So ideally it will be like, say you, you, you honor the party pass to across, not just to the uh, cash, but say, okay, 75 is for the rest of the found, you know, uh, possibly you could look at the 25 for ESOP and founders and 75 for the rest of the investors. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Guys, $150 million. Let's say there are two founders. Founders will not probably sign this, right? One of you will go in and advise them. What should the founder get here? How should it be structured? What would be a fair number to part with the founders? Anybody want to chip in? Pratik, what do you think? Maybe get a uh, waiver on the LP and you know distribute it in terms of the shareholding. Sorry? We get the waiver on the LP part from the investors. So, you know, and uh, get the share uh, distribution based on the shareholding. Uh, that will be too much. No, that will be unfair, isn't it? Try to do it, right? The founders still have 20%. Uh, ESOP guys have 2.5%. So, if you do as per shareholding, then first of all, the Series D guy will be the hurt the most, right? Because the series D guy here is taking the series D guys, let's say, assume the one or two guys, they are taking more than 40% of the distribution right now, right? almost 40% of the distribution, right? But they'll probably be owning 20% here. So they'll go to half, right? They'll be the ones to lose out the most. And then some of the earlier guys, like angels and all, they will actually be making multiple because you know what I'm saying, right? They'll be making again. So that they will not sign. So, so if we try to give 30 million out of this to the founders, founders will be thankful to you for the suggestion, but none of the captable guys will work with you over again. Deal will not to be done, but people will say that Karan Gupta is the founder. Ko hai yeah. it, it's illogical, right? Angels will make three, four X of their money. CDJ guy will make two X of their money. And the last guy who came in, will make uh, only 50% and founders take a cool $50 million. That's a lot of money for a failed company. Whole yeah, lot of money. You could structure it in a way so that you, 
to make the deal a little meaningful for the founders that's like a million dollars each bhai a million to bahut kam hai yaar naim safi hai matlab 150 million mein se founder ko 1 million milega ye to galat hai ye to media wale bhi allow nahi karenge aapko you're right 1 million is is good amount of money but what is good i mean we don't know but uh, maybe the answer is something i don't know any any other numbers i just want to see i mean we will just get a sense shivam a, a million dollars each is too low yeah yeah i mean it the, that number may might vary, vary i mean like it could range anywhere between 1 to 5 million dollars 1 to 5 million let's say that you know let's add another variable here what are the variables we should consider right so current pointed out a very good variable ki boss has there any any secondary happened earlier kesha pointed out sorry right so you take that into account there may be have may have been a secondary in series c for example right wo thoda acha price pe wala series c second second uh, point could be that you know how much time have the founder spent here right Correct. the company maybe they spent like 7 8 years maybe they have been below par salary for a very long time we don't know about the salaries they been getting paid right uh in many situation founders take variable bonuses without performing also we don't know all the history there right uh okay what else would you like to add the variable and on future stuff also right for example if the company is getting acquired hmm. probably the founder would still be valuable right so so some uh, some of that also needs to be taken into account maybe the acquirer acquirer might incentivize the founders to stick around some fabulous point so there might be a e shop in the acquiring company there might be a transition bonus at the end of two years you're right there could be add ons which you will have to find out sometimes these add ons are a little non transparent correct sometimes they are behind the scene sometimes they are obvious depends on the acquirer usually acquirers are now getting clear and transparent about so are the sellers but yeah you you do want to negotiate that right you 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 want to add that to the mix over and above right and you you want to sort of point that to the table but at the same time there will be some cash secondary required for the founder right? if there is a cash involved the acquirer will count the cash as a part of the 150 only when I mean, uh, they will not give additional cash just because it's the founder okay any other comments from anybody let's go to the next scenario like pref of last in first out right this is reading similar to similar to the previous table except that the angels don't get anything and the series a guy is the only one who's taking like a haircut because you know the later series has a 1x preference on a last in first out basis do, do you Do you guys understand what is last first out? Yeah, basically means that you know a series D will be the first one to use the liquidation proceedings at one x. Then after that series C will be the first one to use. Then after that series B will be the f- if any money left, and uh, there is hardly any money left for uh, series A, and there is nothing left for for the angels. Right? Now in this, what will happen in the middle in the row uh, column G yellow? What will happen there? Scenario B. Who will create a problem here, guys? Both founders, angels. Angels. Huh? Founders, founders, and angels. The founders and angels. Guys, do you guys know there was a deal in Housing. dot com where uh, SoftBank had merged Housing. dot com with uh, another portal called Property. dot com or No Brokers Property. No, no, no. india property or something like that i forget the name so there was an exit prop tiger yes thank you abhinav so when this happened investors barely recovered their principal okay that to in equity angels refused to sign guess how much did they make on their their investment take a guess this they refused to sign they said we will not don't want equity of prop tiger also we want tushar thanks for the input so tushar tushar is based out of bombay right yes yes ha ye matlab bombay ki gali gali ka bachcha bachcha janta hai right vc industry mein 
क्या हुआ था या या दिस इज अ वेरी पॉपुलर फेमस स्टोरी सो सो दे टुक आई थिंक आई हर्ड 7x बट इट कुड बी 5x एंजल्स हैड टू बी पेड 5x इन कैश इन दिस डील आल्सो बाय द वे द एंजल्स कुड बी द बिगेस्ट न्यूसेंस मोर देन द फाउंडर्स the biggest problem will be ki they don't have any institutional reputation to be saved here right they are like boss i put like uh, 50 lakh rupees i want 2 and a half crore rupees you can do whatever you want to my reputation and these are well known angels by the way you know usually uh, there is hardly any space devoted in i had a situation very recently where uh, there was no money in a company and the company had to be shut down and uh, the angel said oh where is our money the founder said you go and ask anand dunia so the angel came to me saying maine bola yaar ek kaam karo i will hand over the entire company to you so you can take whatever is there in the company you know we can sell all our equity and sell founder's equity to you everybody, everybody will sell their equity to you you please take over and manage whatever is cash or not cash or whatever all yours but yeah yeah so you can't do this right so scenario b is looks like an infeasible right even if it starts with scenario b Lick pref of last in first out. Most likely, what will end up being? It'll end up being the previous scenario only, right? So, so why would you fight for scenario B? Meaning, when you are negotiating an agreement, why would you even bother saying, you know, I don't want A. If you are a Series D investor, you you will not agree with A, which is everyone is pari pasu. You will insist that you know I want last in first out. People will resist it, right? And now you've seen what happens. So, if either the who are you? Apko, you can't execute B. You will most likely end up going to A only. So, why would you even fight for it? Anybody will say that any scenario you can imagine where you really want to fight hard for B. Guys, what if the exit was only fifty million? What will happen? What do you guys think? Tushar, what do you think? If the exit was only fifty million, how will it be split? Uh, so I don't know. I mean, legally, so it will depend on the clause, right? Which is that who will get first, right? Or then it will be distributed among everyone. If it is distributed amongst everyone, so at least investors are happy. So I'm thinking of the clause B. 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 Clause For clause hmm. B, clause A we know. You just divide fifty divided by one hundred fifty-four, and you can do it, right? So I don't know what's the sanctity of the agreement, right? I mean, people would, uh, the series D investor would argue that agreement follow करेंगे, and the others would say that this is unfair. But then, hmm. can you legally challenge it? That it is unfair. So how does those scenarios happen? I don't know. Yeah, because everybody has to transfer their shares, right? Eventually, for the sale to go through. Okay, because so you are right. How do you enforce everybody to transfer their shares, right? How do you enforce that everybody will cooperate? They may not cooperate. It might drag on. Whatever the chances of the deal execution ha- happening within a two three month period window, that period will get exhausted and deal will go away, right? So you are right. However, there is a little bit of a leverage the Series D guy might have, might relent a little bit, might not relent. We don't know. It is also possible the Series D guy directly gangs up with the founder and says, "Okay, let's force this on everybody else." I haven't seen anything where the Series D guy takes the entire fifty million dollars because it's last in first out clause. I haven't seen. We haven't come across a scenario like this yet. If we come across, we might come across this year. If we do, we'll find out. But, Then why have this clause in the agreement if it doesn't work out ever? I I agree I agree, but it might work out. We'll have to find out, sir. We haven't seen this, right? I mean, we in practical terms, we haven't seen this happening a lot. I do believe that you know when you say why have this clause, that is why we don't see the clause B often now, right? Usually it is pari pasu only. The pref is pari pasu. The capital invested. That's what we are seeing increasingly. Okay, let's go to scenario C. How likely is this scenario C going to happen? Out of one fifty, one twenty goes to series D guys and thirty. Uh, yeah, we don't see two X click click pref now. Why? 
one twenty eight thirty will not happen, right? Nobody will agree. Deal will not do, just go, not get done. You can word it. I am seeing two weeks click pref repeating. However, in what circumstances will two x be meaningful? Can you think about something? There, it's not meaningless. It could be meaningful, but what will be the boundary condition where okay, two x may go through? Because of a certain price of the deal, where the proceeds are at least two, three zero eight, like double of one fifty four, then probably. Sorry. When the liquidation offer is at least double of one fifty four. Three million. You're saying. Hmm. Not it's double. Zero. If it is double, then everybody gets, like you know, double the money, right? If it is one hundred fifty-four went in, and if it is three hundred, so maybe one fifty-four plus sixty. Yeah. yeah. If it is two fifty million, two hundred million, even two hundred million, for example, the last guy could say, "Ki boss, I have two x. Okay, you guys have only one x, but I have two x. I I put the money because you know, other other way I wasn't going to put money." You guys wanted me to bail out. If you see the valuations, by the way, look at the valuations. What's happening here? The last round, Series D round. Can you see what is happening here? Anybody wants to comment? Series C post money was two forty. Series D was flat round. Two forty plus sixty, three hundred million. So what is happening there? What would you call this? There's no, no the down round. It's a flat round. It's a distress round. Right. It must have been a distress round, right? This guy would have insisted, most likely. I'll give you sixty million, but I'll take a two x split pay. You want it or don't want it, right? Now, if that was the discussion, probably the documents may have more harsher wording. Blah blah blah. It's also possible that if the deal is two hundred million. This guy will say, "Okay, boss, I'll take my one twenty. There's eighty for you guys. You can distribute whichever way you want to distribute. You will also get eighty percent of your capital. But I give you with a two x click proof, and possibly he leaves a little bit, maybe take a little bit, like you know, we'll take one point seven or something, and it could still go through." On another question here, uh -huh. if let's say the liquidation amount is two hundred million, mm -hmm. then will the click proof kick in because the liquidation amount is more than? What each individual invested. Yeah, so for the two weeks, you know. Hey, sorry. At this point, I'm thinking that the investors will also be the same uh, from Series C. So, uh, do you think that we have participated? You're right. Some of the Series C guys, B guys. I, I'm not sure about the A guys, but the B and C yeah. guys may have participated. You're right. So, so it should ideally go through, right? Because so two so x could go through. I mean, that's a scenario if, where it is a possibility. If, if series B, C, and D, all three of them are participating in D, right? Then it could go through because the the it's not an investor level; it's at a series level. Two x click pref. It could go through. But but at one fifty, the last guy getting one twenty, everybody else getting thirty, just won't happen. Right? That that looks very difficult. That will then then be subject to negotiation, and again you have to take care of angels. Again you have to take care of uh, founder, etc. etc. All that will happen. This is sort of I mean of course you know uh, like a very uh, specific scenario. But at two hundred three hundred million kind of exit, it could could two uh, x could materialize. I am seeing a lot of term sheets being signed at those kind of numbers now, and uh, yeah we'll see. Again, I mean, again, not too much of literature floating around there, where one investor took two x from the top, and others made uh, lesser. Uh, not enough data out there, not in India at least. In India, companies either go bust or they go IPO. We don't have any middling outcomes yet. I mean, very few. We don't have to worry about on like stuff like enforcement of drag long, tag long clauses and stuff like that. Do you think that really ends up? Have you seen in your time? Anything you know that getting how do you drag? Time? How do you drag and transition? I mean, you can drag the founder to sell the share, but you can't drag the founder to transition the code, transition the business, mm. transition the employees. You can't drag him to do that, no? Right. 
something so while it is there social the equity i agree hmm. but for everything else you still need the founder to cooperate right so you will still have to yeah no i think so obviously founder assume like what you i'm just going back to the first uh, one where you said right like assuming you get a d and the founder team up or you know you had say maybe the angels right who were not getting this money right or they were not getting assuming that you know the angel pool was slightly bigger right and they are creating this uh, issue right in that case right when they are not uh, i would say like you said they don't have institutional reputation right they don't have a control on the business Yeah, here right. the angels have like one two percent equity worry. See, uh-huh. like uh, they started with ten percent, hmm. and uh, then there are th- four rounds after that. They probably right. took two two or un- under two. So I I don't think they'll have a lot of leverage here. Yeah, yeah the Got leverage it. will be with the last two guys. That's how it'll be. Got. It. And uh, you are right. The last two guys will be worried about the reputation. So they would rather give something to the angels and to the founder. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the reputation will flow downwards to upwards. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying Series A guy won't won't have. They also will have a reputation, and potentially the Series A guy might might actually be the biggest shareholder here. I mean, might might have put prorated every round, uh, for all we know. But yeah, I think the angels and uh, founders usually get the sweeter deal. Got it. To the whole, I mean, disproportionately to the to the documents or the through the language of like brief, right? Okay, guys, yes, we are you. we thank can, you. yeah, sure. Uh, any comments or any questions? Okay, I just want to take a poll. You know, b- before we set up the. the the rest of the sessions uh just want to take a poll on do you guys want this to focus on on uh, us to focus on fund management starting a fund kind of things or you want us to focus on uh, other things which you can immediately use in your jobs where do you think this will the focus of the series be on some of the stuff we are, we are we are doing here may not be relevant to you next year or in 6 months right so it'll be good to know okay guys if you don't contribute then i'd love to anyways wrap up early today prathmesh you want to speak up healthy mix of both maybe okay 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 fine okay what else anybody else has comments either is good okay more of other things like what lippy i mean more such like more such exercises probably more exercises on different clauses yeah okay Pratik, you are saying that you know, Tushar is saying starting a fund. Okay, immediately on your jobs, Pratik, give me some topics. What what would be relevant to you guys today? Like you know, what can help you jump to the next step? Negotiations, case studies. Okay. yeah guys i mean the problem is case studies will probably have to come from a panel discussion we'll try to bring up something when we have panelists here yeah uh okay how to deal with acqui hires interesting one kishor anybody has been through an acqui hire guys recently anybody somebody but must have gone through acqui hire right tushar you want to talk about it also i what i have observed in acqui hire is uh, if you get 1x you are lucky mm-hmm. uh, i mean typically investors don't have any sort of uh, leverage in an acqui hire conversation the acquirer is largely acquiring uh, or getting the team on board and whatever cash plus equity they are giving to the founders they give but they don't really want the existing investor so uh and as an existing investor you 
you know that the company is not doing that well and that is why an eq head is happening so either you decide that you want to sort of don't want the transaction to happen or you let the transaction happen and make whatever you are getting from it hmm. 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 have you seen a scenario where instead of a equity hire where you know the founder and the employees join the acquirer get some cash bonuses and the business is wound down have you seen that i have seen the opposite i have seen uh, honestly uh, founders doing well uh-huh. and uh, sort of also cashing in the equity plus the bonus components which they are promised after one or two years yeah but investors don't get anything right yeah investors will only get one x and then they are out so tushar lot of in a in a bad scenario particularly in a in a downturn nobody really wants to fork out cash right investors getting one x doesn't happen in equity hire we we are going through one for example right now and uh, there the the deal is where the remaining cash in the company whatever is left in the company is being returned to the investors and founders and uh, employees are walking into another company and there is some cash bonus joining bonus or whatever for the founders to enable this Yeah, so that is why we we were a bit lucky. I can say, Anand. I yeah, mean, yeah, no, I, got... I think those kind of equity hires will happen in a bubble market where the acquirer has some cash to pay out, right? Hmm. Today, nobody really wants to fork out cash for an equity hire. Fair enough. So, Anand, then how do you how do investors deal with equity hires? Right? Because let's say the founder is walking out with something. because he's getting like a good bonus joining bonus or something like that yeah. investors are the one who lose out yeah you can't do much don't work with the same founder again you can't do much usually this is one big reason why people don't work with the same founder makes sense yeah i mean you, you, you see there is there is nothing you can do right you can't stop somebody getting employment right yeah, so and how do you t- take that right i mean because the you both have come to as a board right you've come to a, a conclusion that you know there's not much happening for this company right and then as a founder also it's your so do you really feel cheated or you said okay no, unless you feel that you it's a bad thing by back door deal first even if you were to recover half of your money it, it, it won't, won't be meaningful for you right exactly it won't be meaningful even then oh, forget, forget that even if you got 1x like the shar's good scenario right i, I don't think usually the money is that much but even if you right. got it's still not a good outcome 100% 100% agree yeah so, you learn but, you but learn the founder that diversify part, and uh, don't repeat it again i mean try not to repeat we all repeat but but try not to repeat that's all it will also work on what kind of equation it was when the acquire happened where you said okay the founder started right as best and nothing it doesn't matter i mean usually there is the acquirer doesn't want to give it to the investors it's not about acquirer would rather give some cash to the founder because the founder has to stay put and work for 2 3 years Right. So as an investor, we are out. I'm saying, as an investor, we are out. I mean, we're not getting right. anything. I'm just saying, I was specifically trying to ask your point on, you know, that you don't work with that founder again, right? Is that like a clear bar for you, or you know, in general? Yeah, I mean, it depends, you- right? So we we had situations where founders initially, for example, founders said, yeah, there is some cash. Then after two weeks, there was no cash, right? Uh, okay, so those are those are clear. And we didn't know what the deal is happening. Yeah, all of that. I mean, got it, got it. And I think in an equity hire scenario, like there is no incentive for even the acquiring company to pay to investors, right? Because the business is usually uh, not worth it. It's largely the talent that is worth it. So uh, it uh, universally leads to that those kind of situations. Right? Yeah, yeah. The acquirer decides to pay to the people who are going to work right. for them, correct? Not to the people who are irrelevant. Yeah. So, so we had an interesting situation on like recently where it was not an acquire hire but the founders decided to shut down the business hmm. and they had equal amount of cash hmm. they offered to return and then gave the same option to invest in the new company because they decided they're going to completely not pursue it for whatever reason yeah 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 i agree i think i think uh, a lot of positive outcomes can come out of of such things right. and sometimes you do feel cheated but that's not to say that you pursue that thing mm-hmm. and to be honest you shouldn't feel cheated whether you recovered like 10 cents to a dollar or 20 cents to a dollar there is nothing to feel cheated that's not our business right our business I mean you should feel cheated if you get anything less than 20x or 50x that's that's Perfect. the same thing 
as getting 0.5x or, or or 1x right it's the same thing there is no difference okay uh investors know the cost company is going down company is good try to get the equity yeah, yeah. i mean guys acquire means it's a failure okay as an investor so so don't don't uh, spend too much energy after it yes you have a responsibility to the investors you want to salvage something if possible but more importantly you want to make sure that acquire happens right on time it's not like too late people haven't been say paid salaries for 3 3 months so the problem in acquire scenario is that something happens wrong it is still blamed on the investor by the media for example so so from an acquire you just want to ensure your reputation is not at risk the vendors get paid any liability loans just just take care of all of those things don't worry about taking money out and i would say that you know you should the the trick here is to smell a smell an acquire potential acquire 6 months before the money completely goes zero or 3 months before the money goes zero you should have some cash left in the company which is very useful to clean up okay uh yes it's a good idea abhinav you should if there is an acquire you should cooperate with the founders that is not the time to say ki boss you know if there is money possible yes you should try but don't insist on it right i mean uh, and don't don't uh, don't uh, grudge the salary of the founders so any acquirer will place the founders at the right hierarchy in their company right with whatever added advantage of you know them being founders and all that right? so don't grudge the high salaries or joining bonuses they will get and it's the norm and this is what the acquirer will get it's not even if the founder said do give me less salary that doesn't mean that you know the money will come to you. again these are these are irrelevant numbers this is not what we should focus on okay any other questions yeah I, i'm looking guys i'm looking for topics uh to design the panels going forward we have a lot of speakers uh, next 5 weeks case studies are monitoring and managing an investment okay lpgp agreements that's an interesting one haven't we done that lpgp agreements no we haven't not lpgp agreement okay shruti this is something that we can do right yep yep definitely that would be would you want to call here guys abhinash abhinav who do you think we should call let's not do legal stuff right just let's get a cfo and and do it right let's not call a lawyer okay we'll we'll think of a speaker here uh yeah someone from ifc or cdc that'll be good lpgp agreements we should do that yeah seasoned gp is also but uh, getting an lp here will be more interesting so maybe shruti can work on that okay guys yeah. case studies on uh, investing in indian companies versus us companies what's this abhi now you want to talk role of strategics in vc funding and exits that's a good one who are the strategics who are very active in india who should we call who do you think will be very active reliance aditya birla tata yeah 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 this will be interesting could be an interesting one yeah this will we'll try to work on this strategy exit if not this one maybe next one yeah we know we will there is some material some stuff going on in saas companies us and corporation and all if we try to discuss it here it will become too legal and too much of tax implication and legal and regulation and all that i am not sure if you guys want to do this it may not be relevant to everybody we will we'll see if we can you know touch upon some of the topics the the basics of this pros and cons of setting up indian entity yeah i i agree like are are all of you facing this problem india versus us okay 
ियल and if we can get a panel in place we'll try to do that also okay okay guys thank you so much uh, anything else right now or should we wrap up for today we suti what's the next one next is on the 